What is an article element? So an article element represents an independent item section or a self-contained content. And some example of the use case of an article tag is it can be used for a forum post, a magazine article, a blog entry, a newspaper article, or even for a user submitted comment. And this is an example of a blog post when we have the heading or the title, the publication date, and the content of the article. We have the three dots which define that you can read more. We have the show comments. So once you decide to show the comments of this article, you just need to click on that. You can wrap all of that within the article tag. Why? Because this content right here can be stand apart or stand alone from the other content within the document. If we have, for example, navigation or other tags within the same document, so all of that or this content right here can stand apart from all other elements within the same document. Okay, how to write the code for that? You just need to wrap all of this content of this blog articles inside an article tag. And for that, I will write article. Okay, let's just cut the closing tag and put it at the bottom. Now I have a self-contained article which had the heading, the publication date, and the other information. I can even have a better structure for this article by adding a header. And I will get the heading, the publication date into this header. And I can use time. So we have a tag time. So this can be used for the publication date. But for the value, it will not be inside the time. It will be inside an attribute date time. Then I'll add the value. So I have the publication date and the heading or the title within the header. I can add for the bottom of the article. So for the content, I will leave it like that. But for the bottom, which I have the show comment right here, I'll add a footer and I put the link inside the footer. Now I have a better structure for the article and I'm making my code easier for search engines to read. An article should be identified by a heading. In our case, I'm using the H1, but feel free to use any heading from H1 to H6. But the only rule here is you just need to nest this heading inside the article. Instead of a blog post homepage, so you can have multiple articles at the same page. So in this case, I'll just copy this article. Then I'll have another one. You can have multiple ones. So depending on how many articles you want to display on the homepage of a blog. So the rule here is you can have multiple articles at the same document. You can even nest an article within an article. And by doing that, so the inner article will be considered as related to the out of article, which can be used for some use cases like comments, or for example, if you want to add some related articles to the same one, so you can nest the element or you can nest article within an article. So this is the second rule. You can nest the tag article within an article. The first rule is you can use one article tag within the page to stand alone some specific content, or you can use multiple articles tag within the same document.